In this session, we will blend two images together using Photoshop's Layer Blend Mode ability to easily combine the best elements of these two images into one. I have a photograph of a cup of coffee. It was shot with a small soft box on the side. It has a very nice soft illumination, transition of light. It has a little fill card on the shadow side. Then I have a photograph here that is shot with a clothing steamer, shot against a black background. It was backlit with a strobe and captures the, the steam in a separate photograph all by itself. Now, using the Move tool, I'm going to go ahead and drag the key letter V as Move tool. I'm going to drag this over to the other layer and let go. So now I have the steam layer on top of the coffee. I can go ahead and close this off now. I'm going to go ahead and go to my full screen mode with menu bar. And I can position this coffee to see right where I want it to go. But if I can't see through it, I'm going to hit my key letter 5. That go ahead and lets me see it at 50% so I can see the position much better. Now, I want to go ahead and actually change the shape of it a little bit. I'm going to go back and hit the uh, zero key to go back to 100%. And with that layer active, I'm now going to go up to the filter menu and go under liquify. Liquify dialog box opens up. I'm going to go ahead and use a fairly large brush size and kind of about 25% on the density and about 50% or so on the pressure. And now I can actually move this, the actual steam around a little bit very slowly. And I'm just going to kind of just make it a little more shapely. Put a few little, little bends in here just to change the shape just a little bit. Pull that out just a little bit in here. Make it a little more whimsical looking. I like that. Okay, once I have get that set, I'm going to hit OK. Go back. It's going to go ahead and see the before and after. You can see that I just made a little bit of shape change to that, made it a little more interesting. Now, instead of trying to, of course, use some kind of extract tool or anything, let's go ahead and just use a blend mode to bring these two together. I will change the normal blend mode to the screen blend mode. And I can see now that the coffee is steam is showing, but all the black area is gone. Now I'm going to go ahead and just use my scrubby slider at this point. I'm going to drag this down to zero and slowly just start moving this up till I start to see the steam right where I feel like it's a good amount, feel like right about there. Now I can see that I have a little excess amount down in the lid here. I'm going to go ahead and add a layer mask by clicking into the layer mask icon at the bottom of the layer palette. That'll put a white layer mask here. The white reveals that whole area. I'm going to go ahead and pick a paintbrush with a black. Got a, I'm going to go ahead and use my bracket key. I've got a small a very soft 200 pixel brush and as I paint now I'm just going very softly painting off the edge of that steam so it doesn't touch that coffee right there if I take off that bottom layer I can see that I've actually painted away that layer turn that on I have the ability now to always bring the steam up stronger or less depending on where I put the opacity I'm gonna go ahead and hit my tab key and my F key and bring me up to full size and we've got a very very nice looking cup of coffee with a steam. It's totally controllable, totally editable, and as a client looks at it and they say a little less steam, more steam, you still, by having it as a separate layer, have the ability to make these edits without having to go back and reshoot anything.